Hello there. I hope you're doing pretty well despite the coronavirus pandemic. I hope you've been taking the necessary precautionary measures of washing your hands, sanitizing, uh, wearing your mask while in public and maintaining social distancing while out. I am doing pretty well and I'm pretty excited. This is because I've taken my first road trip after about three months in quarantine. I was heading to Loitokto for the very first time from Nairobi and it's about 198 kilometers kilometers away. Loitoktok town lies within the foothills and is full of views of the magnificent Mount Kilimanjaro. The mountain is ice capped standing at 5,895 meters just over 19,000 feet. It's the highest mountain in the African continent. It has therefore earned the honor of being called the roof of Africa. It's about uh, 8 o'clock and I'll be spending the night at the Kilimanjaro resort and it's a few kilometers from the famous Mount Kilimanjaro. I wait for tomorrow morning to see the mountain. What I'm looking forward to seeing is the snow on top of the mountain and the mountain is is uh it's about 5805 meters and uh, it's about 19000 feet so the mountain literally touches touches the clouds so let's look forward in seeing mount kilimanjaro tomorrow morning so if you're enjoying seeing different and unique places welcome to where is vivian uh make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel Did you know that Mount Kilimanjaro is the world's largest volcano and the highest freestanding mountain on earth? Also, the mountain touches the clouds so high that its peak is snow capped on the equator. <laughs> I'm just done from having breakfast and I've really enjoyed my breakfast. It was very delicious and just having breakfast outdoor. Uh, it's really, really been awesome. I've enjoyed the lovely sun, the lovely vegetation around me, the beautiful uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, right now it has been covered by clouds. I've learned some facts about Mount Kilimanjaro and I would like to share them with you so at least you can be more knowledgeable about Mount Kilimanjaro. Did you know that the first people to summit Mount Kilimanjaro were Hans Meyer and Lodwin, that is in 15th October of 1989. It gets more interesting. The oldest person to have reached the summit of the mountain was 87 years old, and the youngest was a six year old. Imagine <laughs> that's that's unbelievable. <laughs> Approximately 25,000 people try to summit uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, about two thirds of those people are successful. Altitude related problems is the most common reason why most climbers turn back. What are some of the benefits Mount Kilimanjaro offers to the people in the community around? This is by one offering employment opportunities. Members of the communities are able to be porters who assist uh, tourists who try to summit the mountain by carrying their heavy load in terms of foodstuffs or uh, sleeping items because uh, climbing the mountain takes about four to five days and uh, porters are really key supporting the climbers by assisting them to carry the heavy load so that they have enough strength to summit the mountain also 
the community members are employed in the tourism industry in the various lodges and homes, either as waitresses, either as admin operators, accountants, and so forth, able to generate their income from the tourism industry. I've really had a fantastic time being outdoor and being able to see the majestic Mount Kilimanjaro. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I would like us to interact more on the comment section and uh, maybe you can tell me some of the interesting facts that you've learned about Mount Kilimanjaro or even share some of the important facts that you know about Mount Kilimanjaro. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.